Hello, today's topic is applying hide isolate to views. But before we get started, it is recommended to know how to duplicate views so we can apply then hide and isolate. To duplicate views, we hit view tab, duplicate view. There are three options that we can duplicate the view. Duplicate view, duplicate with detailing, duplicate as dependent. Also, each view, if I right click on it, duplicate view and the same three options. So what is the difference between the three options? The first one, duplicate view. This duplicates the view by copying the model geometry but without its annotation or details. The first floor, for example, there is tagging for the doors. So if we right click duplicate and on duplicate, I will get level one first copy one. Of course, I can rename it, but without the tagging of the doors which means without any annotations, dimension or tagging or any kind of annotation. Going back to my first floor level, the parent view, view, duplicate view, the second one, duplicate with detailing. Duplicate with detailing duplicates the view by copying the model with its annotation. So if I right click and duplicate with detailing level one first copy two got duplicated with its annotation obviously the tagging of the doors shown the third option go back to my parent view right click duplicate view duplicate as dependent this creates a child view and in that child view, we can, for example, crop it without affecting the parent view. For instance, I'm going to duplicate the third floor as dependent. Right click, duplicate view, duplicates as a dependent. So when I select the crop region, I can edit this way. If I go to my parent view, I will find no cropping, but the dependent floor is cropped. And this is the crop region. The benefit of duplicating views will be utilized when applying hide and isolate elements to views as the following. For example, this is my parent view, the third floor, and this is the uh, the duplicated as dependent view and this is a duplicated view from view control bar if i'm going to hide the doors hide category and if i go to my parent view which is the third floor i will find that doors have not been hidden also for the view that duplicated as dependent. Click on doors, view control bar, temporary hide and isolate, hide category, the parent view still showing the doors. To apply temporarily hide isolate elements to views. So hit Temporary hide isolate from view control bar. I need to select the element that I need to hide or to isolate. But before that, the hide tool hides the selected element in the view and the isolate tool shows the selected elements and hides all other elements in the view. For example, I would choose the tree. Temporary hide isolate hide category we set temporary hide isolate they went back if i want to isolate 
the cars select one car temporary hide isolate isolate category all cars have been isolated and shown temporary hide isolate reset temporary hide isolate for example I would hide only that car hide element so only that car as an element has been hidden or has disappeared finally what if we apply permanently hide or isolate of elements to our view to illustrate that I would choose the tree to hide that category temporary hide isolate so I would hide the category if I go and select apply hide isolate to view it means I'm going to lose that element if I use reset temporary hide I will not get it back so apply hide isolate to view if I go and try to reset it is disabled and I cannot bring them back simply but there is another way to bring back that element to restore that element we go to our view control bar reveal hidden element which is that button reveal hidden element select the red elements which is that one and then unhide category after hitting unhide category we need to click again on reveal hidden elements and by this we come to the end of our topic today please like this video if you find it helpful Bye.